Hello, welcome to uh, Economics and Business, uh, two separate subjects in one department. Uh, we, I'm Louise Alderson, we have Mr Rawlins, Richard Rawlins in the department, and currently Peter Scanlon. I wouldn't even like to say how much years of experience we've got between us, but I think we're touching up to about 100. It's a very experienced department, very successful department, um, and I'll take you a little bit through economics, and Mr Rawlins will take you through business in a short while. So syllabus areas, what can you expect to actually cover? Markets, market failure, how does it work? How do you fit in to the economy? Actually, you are a very important part of the economy. Everybody's an individual. When they go to a shop um, and they decide to buy a particular product, you're casting a vote. Um, and to actually know more about why that works and how that could have an impact on everything else that happens within the economy and how we can allocate things that resources like land and labour to particular products that will be shown uh, through economics. And market failure, why does it not work particularly well? Why do things go wrong? Why do we have pollution? What can we do about it? Okay, again, that's part of what you'll be studying and, and but the background and the inner theories behind it. Theory of the firm, looking at uh, competition, monopolistic competition. Companies like Microsoft that have huge amount of market power how, how can they, um, or how can you sort of like investigate whether in fact they're being efficient? Are they doing a good job? Are, are they looking after the consumers? Uh, and the labour market, you will be part of the labour market at some point in your lives. So to know the inner workings gives you an advantage above and beyond um, other people who haven't studied economics, for example. That's microeconomics. There is also macroeconomics. Now, this is probably a bit more familiar to you. It's about the whole economy. So we're looking at unemployment, inflation. You'll have heard about those. Uh, recession, we've been through one recently. COVID, probably going through probably an even bigger one this time. So there's lots of challenges ahead. The, the UK economy, but we're not just the UK. Obviously, there's the global economy out there. We've got uh, a financial sector is also that's very important, and a lot of trade, a lot of things going on with Brexit. Brexit isn't actually part of the specification, but again, topical issues we will be exploring. Papers are quite straightforward. You've got a paper one or microeconomics, some shorter answers plus um, an essay or two essays. Paper two, exactly the same format, shorter answers with a couple of essays. Uh, which are optional, and then there's a theme three, which is multiple choice and shorter answer questions. All the papers are two hours, you do them at the end of the two years, and each account equally for your marks, 33%. So, what skills do you need? You need to be able to manipulate data and interpret it, put it in familiar situations, unfamiliar situations. Much of this you'll have done during your GCSEs, but this is a skill that we will hone and improve upon, or help you improve upon. Present arguments, make judgments, crucial for economics. It's a balanced subject. On the one hand, this might happen. Theory tells us this is what happens. But on the other hand, in practice, it doesn't always happen that way. Why? You'd be discovering why. Why does it not work? Why is it when the government try to lower interest rates, do we not actually see a boost in growth in the economy or people spending more? Why are these things not working quite as well as they should? And then making a judgment. What, to you, is the most significant factor? Recognising and solving problems, great, one of my favourite things, solving problems. If there's a problem, there is an answer, there is something to be solved. Theory will help you through this and you'll be using economic theory to judge it. Planning your work, making sure that um, you do your homework and make sure it's all there. Conducting some of your own research, we like to do research projects, you can work with Financial Times. There are other things that the, the department offer that will be additional um, to your subject, but certainly independent research is important and a good skill for university. Because uh, we're not just preparing you for A-levels, it's for later life as well. Challenging your own assumptions. Why, why you know, making it, even the theories, they have assumptions attached to them. Challenging those. Uh, why, why do they not work? Why, why does that not make sense? Um, and evidence that becomes available. Okay, so what else does the department offer for you? 
We actually run a finance course, which is an AS. So that's all about learning about banking, personal finances, mortgages, everything that you could possibly want to know. Don't have to study economics to do it, but a lot of the economists or business students do, uh, both that and finance, so that's a, a Bab Lake advantage. We run the Young Enterprise Programme. Um, last year they were very successful. They, were, they won a, a competition for best product innovation, uh, but that's where you get to use your entrepreneurial and business skills and work as a team. Um, we also offer something called Student Investor, where you can invest on the stock market, so you get real experience of what it would be like to work on the uh, stock exchange. We also work with the Institute of Chartered Accountants, so there's a base competition. Again, business, economics, finance students benefit from this, and it's also something for your CV. And we're just looking at the moment to do some work with um, Tycoon Challenge, which is done by the Peter Jones Foundation. Um, so a lot going on, and we're also working closely with ex-graduates from the University College in London, UCL, um, who will help you um, if you require that to do courses with them and also help you with things such as writing a personal statement. Lots going on, exciting times.